Hey what's up guys, it's Deathstalker Seeker here with another Bugs Loadouts video. As the title suggests, this one's going to be all about picking the most efficient weapons and perks for combating the bugs. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and get started on those perks. As far as the perks go, I only decided that three were noteworthy enough to be included on the list. But keep in mind that everything in these Loadouts videos are for advice and guidance and aren't for laws written in stone. Every Helldiver is different and there are countless ways to dominate in any situation against any enemy faction. First up is Stratagem Priority. While sometimes overlooked, this neat little perk reduces your stratagem cooldown time by 40%, resulting in more nukes deployed, faster ammo drops, and more frequent reinforcement stratagems. It's also worth noting that by reducing your stratagem cooldowns, you also open up the possibility for new strategies. Maybe you can rely on supplying your entire squad with ammo, thus freeing up slots in your team's stratagem loadout. Or maybe with the new cooldown time, you can share your EAT-17 rockets or demolishers with a squad mate allowing your squad to double down on the amount of anti-tank weapons available, so grab the strategy priority perk and experiment. Though if you want survivability, I would suggest the displacement field. I don't understand the science to it, but it's truly a lifesaver. The bugs excel at ambushes. When they're not pouncing on you from the edges of the screen, they literally spawn right beneath your feet. These tactics can be avoided most of the time, but survival also depends on luck. And with the displacement field, you have a little bit more luck on your side. Just keep in mind that the spawn locations are somewhat random and can also send you into greater danger, meaning it isn't the perfect strategy, but I have been saved by it more times than I have been killed. And last but not least, I think, would be the Cardio Accelerator. I know some of you may be wondering why this makes the list, and that's simply because the bugs are all melee units. Some slow, some fast, and some venomous, but all use melee based physical attacks, meaning as long as you can keep your distance, your chance of survival will remain high. Now that isn't always possible, especially since the bugs can spawn right beneath your feet, this is where the Cardio Accelerator proves its usefulness. Whether it's small retreats for distance or full on withdrawal from the fight, with the Cardio Accelerator perk you'll be able to do it much faster. Moving on now, we have the primary weapons. First up is one of my favorites, the Sickle. While it may be a DLC weapon, it's one I recommend especially for the bugs. Even up into the higher difficulty levels, it'll cut through scores of bugs like a hot knife through butter. Stack the added bonus of not having to bring the resupply stratagem and you have one of the best weapons versus the bugs. Just be sure to train your trigger figure to avoid overheating the thermal clip and aim for the center. This would do critical damage to all of your targets. But if you didn't buy the support pack DLC which contained the sickle, it's still a weapon for you. While not high performing as the sickle, the scythe is a laser weapon included in the base game. Though the scythe fires a steady laser beam instead. Personally, I feel the time to kill with the scythe is much higher than the sickle, which also means you're more likely to overheat the weapon in intense firefights. But it makes for a great counter to the bug scouts. Due to their low HP, a single sweep of the laser can cut down an entire scouting party. And remember, the scythe benefits from the same thermal clip system as the sickle, so there isn't much need for bringing the resupply stratagem. Although pew pew is fun, sometimes you need the kick and bang of a real rifle. For the bugs, you'll not only need a lot of bullets, but armor penetration and high damage. That's where the Justice shines best. Fully upgraded, the Justice fires high damage, armor piercing, unstoppable rounds. The magazine is smaller than other assault rifles, but to be honest, I've never had a problem with this. But be sure to bring the resupply stratagem, as you will need the ammo. Next up is the Paragon. While still an assault rifle, I wouldn't put it on the same level of aggression as the Justice. The Paragon is a weapon I find is both capable of aggressive offense as well as a supportive weapon. Firing high damage bullets laced with poison in a 3 round burst fashion, it's capable of both dropping bugs and or reducing their combat effectiveness, allowing teammates to mop up whatever is left over. The Paragon is a weapon from the Hazard Ops DLC pack, so you will have to buy it if you have not yet. If you plan to use the Paragon, remember it is a burst fire weapon or single fire if you're skilled enough with your trigger finger so you will need to place your shots accurately in order to see positive results. Last for the primary weapons is the Breaker Shotgun. Favored by the community for its high damage, widespread, and rapid fire, the Breaker is a great weapon for shredding through mobs and bugs or clearing out scouts in the fastest way possible. Sadly though, I can't recommend this weapon for use into the higher difficulties due to the formidable armor of the greater bugs. Still a great weapon, but one that doesn't quite have the penetration level of the previously mentioned. While the Breaker is the last of my recommended weapons, there still are two supportive weapons that I must at least mention. The first is the Tanto. The Tanto is much like a more concentrated form of the Scythe, but with very limited range. The range is actually the only downside to the weapon. It packs one hell of a punch and is also a one-handed weapon, meaning you can use it while you're still down or carrying an objective like the black boxes. 
Since it's also a laser weapon, the same rules apply for the resupply stratagem. But like I said, the range is the only real issue here. I can't recommend a weapon for fighting the bugs but that requires you to get within striking range. So for now, I'll just mention that it is also an option. And the second weapon is the railgun. On the higher difficulty, this weapon is best used as a support weapon. While the sniper may only have 5 shots per magazine, it's the power of these shots that make it such a great weapon. One round has the power and penetration to kill a bug on impact. But the railgun is packing unstoppable rounds, so instead of a one shot kill, you're more likely to score three to four kills with a well placed shot. Though remember that shots are limited and the rate of fire is slow, so accuracy is a must. It's also worth mentioning that the railgun can be upgraded to stun surviving victims with each round hit. And that concludes the Helldivers loadouts video. No tears please, as you can see there are more videos available by clicking the thumbnails currently on screen. While you can also find more Helldivers videos on my channel and subscribe to see when new ones become available. And remember, you can also find me on Twitter, Facebook, and PSN. As always, all links are in the description below.